look to throw here. Finds that he's gonna go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. Now comes the Raiders' offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. You know how we get focused at end of the half and end of the game situations about how much time's on the board and you know what you need to do? Sometimes you don't even have to worry about that. That's just smart football. You know, that kind of a lead, staying in bounds, right, it burns guard. clock, right. even in a situation that we're not really focused right, on. It. Right, and yeet. Right, and yeet. On second down, here's Carr. Caught the tight end Walford. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things. But the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Car to throw on second down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to lead to a third down. And they're going to speed things up here. An extra defensive back in the game now here for third and four. Now Carr. Throw left side to the tight end, Walford. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And that's a good sign right there as we start the third quarter. Because in the first half, not much space to run the football. And as we go into the half, we often think to ourselves, all right, what's the adjustment? What do they have to do? You know what a lot of the adjustments are? No adjustments. You know the game plan, been working on it all week. Maybe a little tweak here or there, a little bit better blocking, and now you're establishing the running game. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down, but a nice little game. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Room here to run! And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. On first down, Carr is caught. Reception by Holmes. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Andre Holmes, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Raiders add six to their lead. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. Now Janikowski following the score. He'll boot this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll probably wish he reconsidered here. It'll cost him 10 yards now with a new rule as he's down at the 15-yard line. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here at half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed 
how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. And the offense looks to pick up the first here on third after that incompletion. Well, the pressure, the hits, the sacks have been coming at him all game long. I'm frankly surprised that they haven't found a solution yet to create more time for him to throw it or maybe change what they do on offense. And yeah, that's one of the biggest differences in this game and why they're losing right now. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Now let's see how yeah, the offense still out there. They elect to go on fourth and 11. Black they come up Black in an empty Brown. set. Four Black wide receivers, Brown. one tight end. Black Brown. Black Brown. Black Brown. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They're indeed going nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And my goodness, that means his next.